this is a new chapter in your life and everyone is so focused on their own shit that no one even cares about what is going on with you or you don't want people to think you cannot do something <laughs> i remember the first time i used a printer yes so <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie Muna. if you're new here you're welcome and if you've been in the family you are also welcome thank you for tuning in in today's video i will be telling you major lessons you should know after graduation a few years ago all i wanted was to get my grades up and to graduate now that i've accomplished these goals i am super sure that i am not the only one asking what's next if you're a fresh graduate you should stick to the end of this video and if you're not a graduate, you can also stick around. I promise you, you will learn something new or you would agree with me or also share some of your ideas and points at the end of this video in the comment section. And of course, before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video so we're just gonna get right into the video the first thing i wanted to know is that it is okay not to be okay and you should know that success takes time if you watch my last video where i did the last exam um vlog you would see all of us so excited we're so like you know that we're really eager to graduate many of us were waiting for that day to happen but we're all done today and we're reality of life are setting everyone is asking what's next everyone is looking forward and wondering what would happen next it is a new phase some of us will get a new job you probably wouldn't know anything about this new job and we are going to make tons of mistakes it is inevitable it is a phase in your life that you have to go through and that a lot of people are going through Remember to stay in the present and be grateful you've come this far and look forward to growing in the future. Number two, you need to ask questions. You're new to the corporate world. You will feel intimidated, embarrassed, even shy to talk to people or ask questions because you don't want your intelligence to be questioned or you don't want people to think you cannot do something. <laughs> I remember the first time I was asked to use a printer. Yes. So I think I said we waited several years before we started school so when i got out of school i actually started working uh, i worked in the study center as a secretary for some years actually not even months so uh that day i was asked to use a photocopier and i have never i have never used it because i don't have one at home i've like i've just not used one before so my boss told me to go print out something <laughs> Before I got into school, I did not have a laptop. I, I've actually used the computer. I've used the computer. I knew what to do. I knew the basics, but I've never used it with a printer. And I had no idea what to do. First, I was like, I was, I was scared because I didn't want to go click something that would ruin the work. And I just didn't know how to operate the printer. So I um, stood there frozen, staring at him. And... Of course he had given me the tax he didn't know what i was doing like when he raised his head up it was like what are you still doing here and then i was like i don't know how to use the printer of course he was shocked but he just stared at me stood up and showed me this is what you do this is what you do and that is it easy it was as easy and i kept doing it after that day so if you don't ask questions you're going to encounter several problems if there's any problem you cannot solve for yourself ask questions just be humble be vulnerable and when you ask it makes people know that you are curious to learn and you are eager to know something new and we should also forget that it is um, an opportunity for you to connect and create a relationship with the people around you it could be your boss your managers or even your colleagues you know so many of us find it hard to make friends at our workplace you asking for help will help form relationships besides job it is also important to seek and ask questions about real life issues and that brings me to my third point never stop learning my third point never stop learning it is important to seek information from books 
documentaries, podcasts, and even movies, or linking up with strangers who are ahead of you, or even your friends that know better. When you open your mind to learning new stuff, you'll be surprised the answers you'll find. And just because university ends, doesn't mean education has to end. Many of us want to put away our books. In fact, many people say this after school, I'm never going to read again. I am not even going to read a signpost. That is a wrong mentality. That is a wrong way of thinking. You should never stop learning. Trust me, outside university, there is so, so much that you do not know about. So keep learning. For my fourth point, I'm going to say, you have to know the difference between work and life. Especially in Nigeria, it is so easy for work to consume your life. Take for instance, the people in Lagos, they go to work, they wake up very early in the morning. They are stuck in traffic going to work. They get to work. They do their job and uh, going back home they are stuck in traffic they get back home late and this cycle keeps going on and on and it keeps happening over and over again it is so easy for work to consume your life and it actually makes sense you are eager to please you want to give your all and work super hard because you think the science of success is to work super hard which is valid for some points but you also have to remember that life keeps going on even when it ends for you which is when you die so you have to remember to be in the present and know that self-care is important and also do not forget that your health is number one priority make sure to consciously unplug and spend time with your family and friends and your loved ones because at the end of the day you don't want to wake up and realize that most of your relationships are broken because you were too busy working and focusing on the things that really didn't matter now my last and final point you should know that it is okay to change your mind and change your expectations this is a new chapter in your life and everyone is so focused on their own shit that no one even cares about what is going on with you and they don't have time to pay attention to what you're doing you must know that it is okay if you don't like your first job it is okay if you don't want to be an entrepreneur it is okay to lose some friends i've actually lost some friends like let me even say i've actually cut off some people who i used to call friends and this is just normal it is okay if you choose not to hang out with some friends it is okay to change career because you don't want to invest time money and your energy into something which you'd later realize you actually do not enjoy doing or don't like when information situation facts changes you realize that you may also have to change your plan and you never know if you like something unless you try it give yourself the patience and permission to try something and learn something and test things and change when things aren't working out the way you think or thought they would it is very important to know this so i hope you learned something from this video i hope it was helpful as always make sure to subscribe like and hit the notification button so you can know whenever i post a new video well if you want me to do more of this type of videos do let me know in the comment section i'll see you in my next one bye Shh.